Wilson Morales from Black Women TV. Hey, folks, how's it going? Hello, Hello how brother. are you? Where are you uh, calling from? Calling? You can't see me? <laughs> no, where are you videoing Video from? Video calling. <laughs> I am from New York. Awesome. You know? So here we are, obviously, another Tyler Perry production. Kelly, I've seen your films that you've done at Lifetime. Here you are leading once again. What went to saying yes to taking on this project? Um, I actually was very nervous and scared at first to be very transparent. And um, because it probably wasn't so, like, shiny in Mary, you know, it definitely intimidated me a bit. And I called a friend of mine after speaking to Tyler um, about the script, and I told him, I was like, oh, it just really freaks me out. I'm a little nervous about this one. He's like, then you should run right towards it. And I said, okay. I called Tyler back. I said I would do it. I also asked him, could I produce? He said yes. And here we are. Before we get into that producing aspect, Tarante, what went to saying yes? And I, I know how much are you involved in painting? <laughs> I love to paint. It's uh, it feels very good to me. So I, it's something that I need to do sometimes. There's seasons when I don't need to, but there's always seasons when I have to paint like every day. But uh, how was it with the... for real? You you really paint? He does. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's bad, that's bad. I appreciate your surprise. <laughs> I appreciate that. But uh, okay, that's good. getting the screenplay, I guess, uh, I said yes prior to even getting it. So it wasn't, it was just Tyler. Tyler and Kelly. And, you know, whatever else we needed to do, we would do it. Mm -hmm. All right, Kelly. So, you know, obviously you're starring in the movie, but you're also producing. And you know, obviously, you know, we like to know that. I think Ty likes to be hands-on, so you say you want to produce, and he says, yes, what's that feeling like, knowing you're a producer on this movie, besides just acting? Well, it wasn't vanity, for sure. I wanted to actually get in there and ask the questions and get my hands dirty and figure things out, and also, of course, be a student, learn. Um, and I did all of those things. I was able to do all of those things, and Tyler was an incredible teacher and um, just like showing me so many different things, even without actually like in, like instructing me, like showing me, you know what I mean? So I would watch and it was incredible. Um, everything that went on the screen, like I was like, can we try this? Is it okay to do this? Can we switch this? Like, and he was like, yeah, why do you want to do that? And then I'd tell him why, you know? So it was um, us talking and collaborating. Tyler is a great collaborator, great collaborator. Mm -hmm. For you, Trevante, you know, you, you know, you've worked with other directors in the past, but when you're working with Tyler, is there anything you're getting from his direction that helps your skill set as an actor? From his direction, you know, I, if I'm being honest with you, brother, I don't. I play in the space. I get in the space and I play with any director, and we, uh, and I just get to play, and that's always been my experience since Moonlight. Since if loving you is wrong, that's just always been my experience because that's my understanding of the creative. And so I say that to say uh, Tyler knows me very well and he was open and willing to, you know, continue suit, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Moving forward, Kelly, what, what do we want to see you from do next? Are, are we, are we going to always get you to do both roles in front and behind the screen? Yes. Yes, you will. I definitely want to continue acting. I definitely want to continue in doing more producing. Um, it brings me joy, for sure. And, it, and it's so exciting. I love this creative process, and I look forward to doing it over and over again. But you're still not going to give up your day job that we all know you from, right? <laughs> I can do both. I think there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Definitely not. Definitely not. Folks, it's great, obviously, talking to you guys. You know, another one for the books. It's good to see another Tyler Perry film back on the screen. Keep doing it. We're here to support. Thank we'll you so much. Nice. Wilson Morales from BlackFemanTV.com. How's it going, Ron? Good. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. It's been a minute. You worked with Tyler Perry eons ago. What's that feeling like coming back again? Listen, I, when they sent me the script, I was like, I want to be in this movie. And it's very rare that I'll make those types of, like, declarations. When I got the call, I was super happy, 
But then I got a little nervous because I was like, man, you know, it, uh, you know, you just want to. I mean, he's grown as a filmmaker, he's grown as a director, and so I just wanted to make sure that I came in and and hit and did my job. So, uh, but it, it was great. I was I was super happy to be working at TPS again, and um, and he was great. He was. It was just. It was an awesome experience. You know, you, most of your scenes are with Kelly Rowland. Um, obviously, you know, she's growing as an actress. You've yeah. been doing this for a minute. You know, what's that dynamic like as you work together along with Tyler, where you've worked with him before, and yeah. she's working with him for the first time? Yeah, uh, no, there was no, you know, I think Tyler was obviously wanting us all to kind of, you know, get into our characters and, 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 and connect. But, uh, no, it was, uh, she was great. Um, and, and, and Tyler really let us do our thing. He wasn't really, you know, he, it wasn't a whole lot of notes given. You know, I think he trusted us to kind of to do our thing, and, and that's why he hired us. And um, it was it was smooth sailing, man. It was it was a great experience. Now, you were, you played a role of an investigator, you know. You yeah. didn't want somebody investigating you, you know, always watching to see what you're doing, to see if you're on the up and up as a, as a boyfriend, listen, as a brother. As you a know, husband, as a man, husband. listen, Jimmy can, Jimmy can come follow me all he wants to, man. You ain't going to see me do nothing but go back. To, I go to the store, I come home. I go work, I come home. No, nah. um, nah, Jimmy, Jimmy's good at what he does. Jimmy's good at what he does. Uh, it, was, it was cool playing a private investigator. I'd never played that type of role before, so it was fun. It was very interesting. Um, you know, typically you see cops or you, you know, but to play a private investigator was a little different. I enjoyed it. Do you take stock in the roles you're playing? You know, you've played the lawyer before. Yeah. You've played a coach, you know. Do you, you really take stock into the world? Like, obviously, you're playing an investigator. Do you take stock into that, the, the environment, so that way, you know, you know what's about. It's not just a job where you're just reading the lines and you're playing this role. Yeah, I think so. I think for me, and somebody was just talking about it downstairs as I was getting a bite to eat, um... I think one of the things that's really been a blessing to me in this industry is that I typically, I have this encyclopedia in my brain of just movies. It's like my own personal, you know, internet movie database. And so I can draw off of all of these things that I've seen. I may not even remember it until I get the role. Or I'm like, oh, you know, Jimmy kind of reminds me of this guy. Or I think Jimmy would approach, you know, investigation like this. And so I'm, I'm always able to kind of align myself with other things that I've seen. And then I kind of find myself in that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know if that answers your question. But that's mm -hmm. kind of how I do it. Now, you've been working steadily throughout the years. You know, you seem to have a, a good head above your shoulders. What goes into saying yes to the projects you take? Um, you know, I just, if it speaks to me, you know, if I, if, if I feel like the character is, uh, it, you know, I, listen, I do say no probably more than I say yes. Um, but that's just because, you know, I've, I've really kind of wanted to, to carve out this work that not only I can be proud of, but my kids can be proud of when they get older and my wife, all my family members. So I, I, I do, I like having a body of work that it, it's, it's been, it's been meticulous, you know, and it's, it's, you know, I got a few things on the resume I wish I could take off, but by and large, I'm extremely proud of everything on there. And, um, there, I don't think there's anything on there that I wouldn't. I wouldn't have a problem with somebody seeing or sit up there and watching it with them. You know what I mean? Even some of the stuff I don't mind, I would, I would want to be taken off. It, it, it doesn't really bother me. You're in this movie now. Congrats on the road. Congrats thank on you. the film. I'm sure we'll talk down the road because you always seem to be working. Oh, Take thank care. you. Thank you very much.